a very good morning sir uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to tni videos uh, my name is shrimanti uh, and we are sitting in the magnificent palaknuma uh, palace um, i would like to start with your experience of hyderabad as a city um, are there any memories associated with this what kind of memories what comes to your mind when you think of hyderabad see uh, obviously this is not the first time that i'm coming to hyderabad i've been here million times right Uh, and uh, before i came to hyderabad also as a as a child my uh, first uh, memories are because my father used to be with state bank of india and hyderabad has a staff college so during his career he came uh, to hyderabad the staff college uh, uh, many times uh, and uh, he would bring back uh, mostly uh, for mom um, sometimes uh, pearls right jewelry made with uh, pearls sometimes uh, pochipalli sarees uh, sometimes some flower vases uh, with bidri work so those are my earliest uh, memories of uh, hyderabad uh, it was not food because uh, no actually uh, uh, biscuits also biscuits, uh, biscuits. Uh, so fruit biscuits more biscuits. from uh, krachi uh, bakery and also sometimes osmania but i i think consistency if i would say it would be more fruit biscuit uh, pearls this is uh, so uh, so memory uh, as a as a child then we uh, started to uh, grow up and got into the industry of course relevance of uh, relevance of uh, hyderabad in food is uh, it's an iconic city for food and if i were to uh, say that uh, it can easily be in uh, uh, top 4 to 6 uh, cities in, in india, india that would not be uh, that would not be wrong and uh, naturally the uh, first uh, dish outside of hyderabad if you have not been to hyderabad uh, is uh, i would say is biryani is something that uh, one would uh, relate to and uh, i think rightly so uh, so few years ago we did a uh, show in hyderabad uh, mm. called biryani journeys mm. so we did that in uh, four cities uh, mm. to show contrast of biryanis in different cities of india so we did lucknow biryani we did kolkata biryani we did uh, malabar biryani and we did hyderabad biryani now and this is this is uh, <laughs> on social media also we we did it uh, for youtube if you see the number of uh, people who have watched uh, hyderabadi biryani story of that is much higher than any other <laughs> any other city yeah any other uh, city so uh, that that shows popularity or uh, interest and intrigue in uh, this uh, city's biryani so do you also think that hyderabadi biryani in itself has become a brand of sorts is there something like that absolutely there, there is there is no uh, two ways uh, uh, about that uh, it's mm-hmm. it's definitely mm-hmm. definitely a brand yeah. especially kacche gosht ki biryani mm-hmm. is something and so if i was to make biryani at home mm-hmm. which i do regularly if somebody that comes and uh, that is what i would make kacche gosht ki biryani because it it is it is unique it is different it mm. it is uh, tasty it is flavorful comfort yeah it it is uh, it's fantastic so in in um, my uh, list i i would uh, i would definitely rate it uh, at uh, number 1 oh really yes number definitely one. for see okay, for that's me something yeah for me uh, biryani uh, from hyderabad kacche gosht ki biryani mm. the way it is cooked mm. so it's there is always this oh uh, so you you are saying you cooked rice and you did not cook uh, meat mm. and yet both will uh, cook together mm. rice would not be overcooked and i said yes mm. right uh, so the science of it mm. the way it is done art of it uh, and finally the taste of it mm. taste and flavor profile that's there so yeah, yeah definitely so, uh, taking from that sir so uh, i'm sure like 
you you understand the kind of impact that you have had on people uh, it's been almost three decades now and you have been this pioneer of change uh, in the culinary industry uh recently we are tracking these trends that you know there's this evolution uh, and this uh, fusion kind of a thing that comes in how, what is your take on this entire thing and how do you understand like do we have something of taking from the past and then merging it with something new that is always there it's mm. not that it is happening now mm. maybe you are reading about it more maybe you are seeing uh, more impact maybe conversations mm. are more mm. maybe that uh, reach is more in in conversations uh, but it has always been there it's mm. not just in india mm. wherever there are travels mm. there there would be changes mm. so there's migration not of people there migration of cultures migration of taste migration of flavors migration of food mm. and when that uh, when ingredients travel when people travel then it's it's bound to happen and it's been happening for centuries it's it's just that we believe that now that we are living in this time it is happening more no actually no mm. we are nobody the the pace of change is much much slower than what we think it is it takes mm. a long time for a change to happen to be uh, visible mm. a change is a real change when it stays forever when mm. when it is it's not something it's today it's there tomorrow it's not there no that's not yes it's not so remember let's say over 400 years ago when uh, tomatoes came here for 400 years tomatoes are still being used mm. it's not that it's not dalgona coffee <laughs> that so be so anything mm. uh that uh, change that you uh, see in one lifetime it, it's not that uh, i would say noticeable or whatever those are, those are facts those, those are uh, so when you call fusion it's actually anything you you have two rooms one is air conditioned the other one is not you open the door it will come to same temperature so, so it will fuse it's that that's what uh, happens so if you bring something if you bring people so let's say persians came there right mm-hmm. they brought the irani chai mm. but the way they were having there and the way they have mm. here different mm. same is the case with many things including biryani mm. yeah right so the soil that we have the air that we have the water that we have the produce that is there we will give it our you know, own touch of that uh, place mm. right something from past something of today and hopefully for the future for the future and that that's what should be intent of uh, people and chefs uh, of today that preserve the past goodness of past but don't copy just blindly and think it was best because it's old that's that's not something that that means you're only copying that that's not how it is mm. take the best that was there make it relevant for today do it in a way that it stays relevant for, for generation to come and give them a chance to change that also and that that's a natural process and it will continue uh, to happen okay. we need not be ashamed of it we we should not mock it mm. we should uh, the the only way to make life better mm. is to test and try test and try test and try mm. create more more permutations and combination it's not nothing is permanent con, uh, constant mm. and if you are not open to change mm. you may try you may reject but be kind to change mm. we are changing every day except mm-hmm. except that change otherwise remember the change in you would be mocked by the world mm. so every change we need to respect that there is there are certain changes which are beyond our control there are certain changes that we do those changes we may or may not agree with that mm. change that oh why is that why are you wearing glasses no no i can see better mm. 
I want to see better. So no, 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 no. I I when keep it my eyes like this. <laughs> right. So it, it's it's how we look at uh, things. Somebody said, oh no, I I think there is a medical science now. Laser is something uh, yeah. that's there, and uh, no, no, no. I wear this. This is better. That is not good. Let's not be judgmental of anything that goes around. Let's accept, and the effort should be how can we make it better for tomorrow. I have two questions from there. Um, since you are, you have become synonymous with cooking with love. You know, Sanjeev Kapoor, and the way he connects with food is with love, and that's what a lot of people have taken from you. Um, when you think of uh, uh, when you started. and now after this three decade long journey uh, do you still perceive food in the same manner as you first started um because i understand that being in that profession doing that thing every day uh, there is a certain monotony to it but then there is a certain expertise that comes <laughs> so how did that happen how has your experience been from there till now so something that is part of you something that is your life they cannot be monotony mother daughter mother son relationship it cannot be monotony sister mm. sister sister brother cannot be monotony it will only grow more and more and more so for me food is like that my relationship uh, is food is not transactional mm. it's not transactional so so it it can never be that i will get bored mm. i am i'm as excited i i i'm the six days i'm in hyderabad right but i make sure that i speak with my mother my wife my daughter every day right that does not change okay so same is the case with food so food uh, is is not something where say, oh my god i have to cook uh, so uh, it, so my relationship uh, if anything it's the bond is stronger bond is stronger and when you when you talk of uh, love i i think uh, there is there is lot of merit in the way we live our life if we if we understand that uh, food is life it is giving life and it also is life it it's not uh, it's not a dead thing in that sense so so even when uh, you have plucked the fruit even if uh, you have done uh, any leaves you have done this is still life they are still contributing okay in building something it's it's like a mason if uh, if they treat their work with uh, love the it will last forever mm-hmm. so same way cooking the energy that goes into it uh, the conversion of ingredient to a dish if you want uh, something magical then treat it with the respect treat it with love and it will it'll turn something which is beyond your expectation um so the second question that came from there was uh do you think that uh, the people who are coming new to the industry and specifically the you know millennials and gen z they have that kind of patience to actually you know perceive food in the same way you know, because as you said it's a trial and error method so uh, do you think that uh, that persistence that uh, uh, perseverance would uh, be there in the people who are still coming in absolutely there, there is again we we think just because somebody was born in a fast paced life but pace so understand pace of many thing has many things has changed but the way we age is it changed because you were watching a uh, 30 minute show now 30 second show do you have you life is shortened no the experiences have become more so younger generation actually is much more capable because of the way they have been absorbing life what is happening around them so when you absorb so much when you learn so much whatever they will do they will do better than so it is actually any newer generation 
we are seeing that the pace is uh, and what what pace when we say can we run faster than what we were running earlier as human beings really exceptions will say in bolt uh, <laughs> maybe there but actually pace uh, would we say mm. height marginally here and there life span increased mm. right so our experiences are more mm. so they are becoming much smarter mm. much more responsible much more uh, much better understanding mm. to to say that uh, oh they they this is not right with them this is circumstantial short lived but once they get it they'll be able to do it much better so responsibility towards uh, environment for example mm. my sensitivity what is mm. my daughter's sensitivity mm. she is much more sensitive because that's her learning our learning and exposure was not that so i think uh, whether it's millennial whether it's gen z or any uh, next generation that is there would they be better than us would they have more patience would they <laughs> absolutely i have no doubt it <laughs> very right. um i'm sure this is the most uh, frequent question you would have got um you're talking about your journey uh, what's the most absurd thing that has come across <laughs> no it's see the thing is i i don't uh, i don't judge like that what is mm. the what may seem absurd to me may be perfect sense of your it's mm. it, it's not something you may say that oh this is burnt toast the other person may say or oh, the smoky flavor on this is so <laughs> nice so these are perspectives mm. so for me uh, i i i really don't think that this is uh, absurd or any my exposure may be less so i may <laughs> think it's absurd and and anything that is new if you don't accept becomes absurd so if you don't want to accept that uh, salted caramel how can you have salted in this right will <laughs> sound like sir oh chilies in uh, chocolate or <laughs> absolutely no, no, no. these are known taste right till it becomes so maybe tomato in food mm. little over 400 years ago would have been absurd mm. today you would not even bat an eyelid so wow today you may think that mushroom biryani in hyderabad no sorry noodle biryani in hyderabad <laughs> right noodle biryani in hyderabad is absurd mm. who knows mm. maybe 100 years from now <laughs> the most authentic biryani in hyderabad is noodle biryani <laughs> who knows right so I, i i don't say this is absurd i say it's it's beyond the, my comprehension it is beyond what i understand what i can uh, relate to but uh, am i correct no i'm not uh, i i don't want to say it it's it's an expression it's it's like there are art forms there are painter there are top painters of modern art what we say why why was it good called modern art because the interpretation not everybody could understand mm. right but they they want to become the most expensive mm. artworks right mm. so i take it as my anything that people perceive as absurd i no no we have to reach that level of actualization we have not reached there <laughs> i would request you to give one sweet simple cooking tip for our readers and viewers and one cooking tip that you actually got from people on the ground okay oh i am every day i'm learning uh, there, there <laughs> is uh, there is no uh, day goes by when i have uh, not uh, not learned uh, so so one one of the first uh, things uh, as as a chef we didn't uh, realize but that potatoes if you were to cook with uh, any acidity right it takes much longer to cook so it, whether that could be lemon that could be tomatoes that could be dahi that could be imli mm. it takes much longer so add it later mm. unless you are pressure cooking then mm. it uh, it can work but otherwise that's so as a professional chef when i uh, million years ago when i studied <laughs> we, th- that's not something that uh, we we had uh, actually i would say taught or ex- uh, something uh, like that 
but I would say that uh, one tip for anybody and everybody in uh, cooking, especially when you are doing for home, plan your meals. Mm. This is something that I see that we as Indians, we don't plan ahead. And I think <laughs> we should plan for a week. Plan your meals for a week. Mm. Write it down. And write it down. You have your phone. You are doing so much. It's hundreds of messages forwarded. Rubbish that is happening. Just take 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And if you have a family, do it with the family. Make it a weekly practice. Spend those 10 minutes. Then you will not have to go through this. Oh, abhi kya khana hai? What to eat now? <laughs> because that's the most difficult question. Mm. Right? If you have pre-planned, shopping becomes easier, cheaper. Preparation time is reduced. You can delegate much more. Most importantly, this pain of thinking at that time and then mm. converting and taking irresponsible calls at that time. Mm. You may eat something that you didn't want to eat from health point of view. Mm. So, I think that's where India is going wrong. We are not taking care of our health. We are making wrong food choices. Just by simple intervention, planning, weekly menus, I think it can change. Right. Oh, thank you so much, sir. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you very much. It was a great experience for thank me you. personally. Thank you, Shri. Mansi.